I, I, I just, I, I never really get a full um, understanding for, for your whole, the whole queen, you know, you know, removing the queen, excuse me, from Jamaica by. Because the things that are pointed out to you, they were, those are of concern to me. All right. Yes, so, so you mentioned the thing that, so I'll re repeat what I've said because we're talking about, we jump around. First thing, right. yes, yes, yes. Anytime you say the queen, get rid of her. My answer is always yes. I'll figure it out afterwards. Secondly, there are many intelligent people that have already figured it out, like Barbados is doing. One, you get a president, so you elect someone or appoint someone who is now the head of state instead of the queen, and get rid of the governor general as well, right? Two, you then institute a higher court above the, the highest court as exists right now. Maybe it's called a court of right. appeals or a supreme court. Um, uh, you know, I'm not sure if Jamaica already has a supreme court, so just naming wise, you might have to change it to something else. Right, but there's a, a higher court, which is what the Privy Council has role the Privy Council has now. Those three things, I think, right away will solve the problem. And a matter of the debt that's owed to them, it's just like any other debt. We continue to pay the debt if we want to, and if we don't, let them sue us for the debt, like you know, like any other um, you know dispute, any, any kind of any other civil dispute. And right. um, when the results come out, we pay it. In fact. It will take years for that to settle in, in any court. So, so we them, actually... them crown, what we do with all of them crown land and all them things? That do? What's wrong to the, the crown land? It, I believe it refers to Jamaica. It, it, it's Jamaica, so it should be Jamaica. You think, you think, you think, you think the British state are going to leg them lands up? No, but if they don't, I'm saying if they, if they ask for reparations for those lands, let them right. take us to court in a normal way. They'll sue and, us. And... It will take 10, 15 years to solve, just like any other... Um, long descent dispute, and and by that time we would have built ourselves into a strong economic nation because we are now an independent republic that doesn't rely on any other external party for our our governance or our justice system, right? So, so those are the GPD, three things. The GPD don't bother you. What sorry? The GPD because I remember we can't compare Jamaica with Barbados, you know. In terms of the GPD ratio, the GDP or the GDP, oh, GDP, um, sorry. It, so the, our, our GDP in Jamaica is higher than Barbados, but um, I think our economy is about eleven billion dollars now. The way to to grow to 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 deal with the, our economic issues is to grow our economy, and it's not through, as the gentleman was saying, it's not through um through through um, mass tourism. That's not the answer. Mm. Right. If you really even want to think about tourism, you should be focusing on the higher value margin tourism um, products. So for example, the average person who comes to one of our mass tourism um, facilities here in Jamaica, they're spending mm -hmm. anywhere from $50 a night to $100 a night. Right? If they were... In a medical tourism facility, right? right. They mm -hmm. will be spending anywhere from fifteen hundred dollars per night to twenty five hundred dollars per night. If they are right. in a wellness tourism facility, meaning they come here for recovery or you know addiction recovery or rehabilitation or whatever, they will be spending anywhere from five hundred dollars a night to fifteen hundred dollars a night. So, all of those things are actually more profitable from a tourism point of view. Then there's also ecotourism, agricultural tourism, and in the case of Trenchtown, what we call community tourism. People want to come to Trenchtown because they hear of Bob Marley and the cultural, uh, the cultural, the cultural aspect. They will, they will come and stay on Second Street or First Street in a different yeah, 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 yeah. where me and you wouldn't go in at because, because, it's, because there's, a get there. huh? there's a rich culture there. Right. They, and people from Europe, Denmark, Sweden, they come and they spend time in those places. Now, it's not going to happen so easily when all right. of the killing is going on. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm you know, the kind yeah. I'm doing is to promote the peace because I believe if we have the peace, then we can bring those tourists in. However, if there's no peace, it's going to be a risk for them and it's too high a risk for someone like me to, to do because of the insurance that we'll need to do, you know, to, 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 you know, to 
you know, for patients. Because if, if one of the Europeans die in trench down, it's going to be a huge motherfucking deal. Yeah, that's, my that, that's the reason why I tell you this generation of a pass. I don't, I think the people are already damaged, brother. I, 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 I know you, I, I, and I hate to, to be a, a pessimist, but trust me, it's like knowing the society and living in the society and see how the people, just the mindset of the people, man, the way the people them subscribe to, what them subscribe to, the negative energy, the violent content, them even from music. May, may I ask you a question? Who, right. who, um, where, where in Jamaica are you from originally? Where, where, what community are you from originally? Big Yard. Big Yard. Eh? I, I, I was born in Where's Big that? Yard of, of Manizero. Where is that? You know, Kingston? across from Casa Piece. Across from, yeah, across from Casa Piece. So that oh, was where I was born. I grew, up, I grew up in Upper St. Andrew, up, up a place called Lawrence Tavern, up that, way, up that side, Unity. Oh, so, 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 so Cassava Piece is where Mubadi is from, right? That's yeah, yeah, right across, 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 from, across from Cassava Piece. That would, would that be considered the inner city community? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm from Trenchtown, so it's, it's a similar kind of thing. But, but your, 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 your inner city is more like... Real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, Kingston 12. Yeah. <laughs> now, why didn't I choose this option of crime and violence and those things? The answer is simple. True. The answer is simple. I had opportunity. I had a chance to go to Kingston College, the greatest secondary education institution in the world, in my opinion. Right. Right. And when I got there, they told me, youth, you can become XYZ. Where you want to be. And I always wanted to be a doctor. In fact, since I was maybe two years old, I was someone to be a doctor. So I had to figure out how to get there. And Casey said, this is how you get there. Right? Now, the reason I say that to you is, it's a lack of opportunity. The generation that is right now, if they are choosing to go into um, things around crime and violence, well, it's because... Kids, then. So it brings us back to that conversation with the kids then. They have to have the opportunity. Yes. They have to so have the opportunity. So that's what we need. That, that's, what, that, that's what we need to invest. You know, the children then. As I've told you, I've, invest, I've invested, you know, a million dollars per year in my school in Trenchtown. The National Baptist Basic School, a million dollars a year. Shoot, shoot me a link, man. Become a like. I'm very interested in a, in in in, in a, that direction. I've, I've, I'm, I I've I'm I know people like as I tell you before, my brethren, yeah. Chris. Them understand the, the the necessity of um of 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 getting the youth them educated, the the, right. young, the generation that that what we want because we it we, it not gonna happen in our lifetime. One of your followers yeah, called Ann M. Berg says 40 is forever. That's exactly right. That's what first the Kingston College is about. But the the you no, know, but here's the thing about Casey, which is which is why it was so unique back when he was formed in 1925. It was the only school that was formed for children out of the ghetto. Right. It, it's like literally for the ghetto kids. And of course, his majesty said education is the only weapon or the best weapon to fight against poverty. And there's a Mandela also repeated that in some in some, some iteration of that um, serious theme statement. So I long ago, because of my own experience of, of coming out of the ghettos, you know, mm -hmm. know that that is one formula. It's not the only formula, by the way, because I've seen a gentleman from Sherwood content in, in Trelawney become the greatest in the world, right? Mm -hmm. His name is Usain mm -hmm. Bolt, right? True. I've seen a young True. lady from Maxfield become the fastest woman in the world and, 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 and you know, multiple gold medal winner. Her name is Shelley sure. Fraser Price. I've seen a little sure. virgin from nine miles in St. Anne who spent his time in Trenchtown become the greatest singer in the world or musician in the world. And today is, 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 um, his legacy is, is worth about $3 billion with a B called Robert Nesta Marley. So it's not that yeah. I believe yeah. that education is the only way. That's the way that I know. <laughs> right? So therefore, I invest my little couple of dollars that I have in that, you know, and I'm going right. to continue to do it, you know, to, because I know, I know that when those young people that I go to um, National Baptist Basic School or Windsor Forest Primary School in Portland, which is that kind of, kind of maroon country, you know, that part of Portland by Long Bay, that's where my other school right. is in Portland. So one is in the inner city, one is rural. Both of them neglected by all. But, mm. When I do that, 
and you give the youth them a little opportunity. You bring in a, a Mr. Vegas or a Marlon Samuels or a Yendi Phillips or a, you know, with the British name, Ian Bowen or somebody come and talk to them. What? I can be a journalist like Ian Bowen, a, a musician like Vegas, a, a, right, 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 right. a body like Wendy Phillips. They, they, right. Now they split up a spark in the head. I saw it, I saw it in a spark. Is, is, isn't it true that you have to get permission from the British state to build schools in Jamaica or something like that? I don't know. I, I don't know enough about that part. That's something else outside of my. Look at it. I think I think it's school. not that that easy to just build schools in Jamaica. Yeah, but I'm not building any schools not. actually. So I'm supporting an existing school. All I do is right, I right, right. So I'm saying, I'm saying, financial and to invest in mm. to invest in the youth. Then maybe we need more schools. So, but I think there is a barrier there. Maybe maybe it's designed not to have anybody can just like anybody can build a church, you know, but I don't think anybody can build a school. So there's some there's maybe some structural things there, but that's that right. if, if if I believe I mean I know the minister of uh, of education, um, Miss Miss Faber Williams. If you if you wanted right. to find out how to build a school, I put you two in touch with each other, and um, you know you'll figure it out. That's not a right. it's not rocket science building a school. The key thing is that we have a lack of resources in Jamaica, so we have to somehow figure out a way to make do from scarce benefits and spoils. I mean, my mother and and, and father's always told me that. Sometimes you have to make a dollar out of 50 cents. Right? I mean, my father is lives in England, and so does my mom. Um, mm -hmm. You know, my father left Jamaica in 1981 after um, Siaga tried to kill him because he, he was one of those community organizers in Trenchtown who was saying, don't join any of them politics thing, brother. You know? <laughs> they right. tried to kill Bob Marley himself, too, if you remember. <laughs> right? They, they, they shoot him up um, up in the um, off road. When Bob went to England, I mean, seen the break spirit. You know? I run him around from Jamaica, you know. Them come, them, them come at um, 56 Oprah Road to come kill him. I run him around with? Yeah. So he come spend some time in England before he come back and do the peace concert. That's part of what I thought about this, this, this peace concert I was trying to do. But then the pandemic... You mean, mean, mean when he come back and they shoot him? No, he, they shot him first and then he came back. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. You, you remember he... Um, that's when he was in England. He met Cindy Breakspear, uh, who was Damon's mother, Juno Gang's mother, the Miss, the Miss Jamaica. Um, that's when that he run away. Exactly. So that was the year they, they tried to, 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 to murder him, tried to assassinate him um, at his house in, um, in Hope Road, 56 Hope Road. That's now the, the Bob Marley Museum, the place where his, his yeah, museum yeah, is. That's where he used to live um, after he left Trenchtown. Um, I think Bob, fact, uh, Bob, the same. The same the same um, drive that people like myself and you have, you know, Bob, Bob had that same drive, but... 100%. The same, the same people they wanted to kill him, so you have to understand. 100%. That is one of the, that is one of the things that, you have to understand about the society. The people that kill him when they see her try to make change. Indeed. I mean, and in that case, they were actually trying to actually kill him. Me, they are just trying to kill me reputationally and you just, reputationally. Just, just because he was, try he was speaking the truth and he wanted to make Jamaica a better place. Yeah. Somebody said he met her at Hope Road. That's correct. He met her at Hope Road and then they got together in London when she became Miss World. However, what I was saying to you about the... Um, the, 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 the they tried to kill him literally. They tried to kill mm. you and I reputationally. But my reputation cannot be damaged. No, but if them, four... if them get the chance, if them get the chance, they're going to kill me literally. Though. Maybe you get the chance. They know, they know where you live. You know, you know, I, you know I... No, no, no. Honestly, because I've... I think, especially when we talk about like prominent people who are rapists or child child molesters, mm -hmm. people don't take kindly to them things there. Especially when you are, when you are, when you go after somebody where have certain have bodyguards? Status, do you have, do you have like bodyguards or protection? No, 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 I don't need it. But you said about trying to kill you. <laughs> no, I'm saying if they get the chance, if they get like, if they get the chance, they will try. But but it's not like me's afraid. Because I'm a well, I'm not afraid either. I, mean, I go to trench like, by like myself. I don't, I, like I'm not, I'm not afraid of what them call death. Me see, does me see, me see leaving this earth as a transition or a trans, you know, transformation. It's the only, it's the only short thing in life. You know, it is death. Them say death and taxes, but death is the only really short thing in life. Right. I'm too many. said, too many. said imminent. Me no bother worry about it. I'm mean, not I mean, afraid. I'm mean, afraid of and, and in my case, I'm younger than you are, but I look older because of the gray hairs and everything. But 
I, I know. And I just I said, and I just said, so my lifespan was to be like 30, 35, 40, and we gone past. Exactly. I mean, we are my father died at 60. So in 10 years, I'm going to, or 11 years or so, I'll be my father's age. Yeah. And, yeah, and so my case, father died at 60. I feel like I have more yesterdays than I have tomorrows. That's why I said I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to change the world. No, it's going to be hard. But, I mean, I just keep doing it. I mean, what am I going to do? I mean, what else, what well, else am I going to do? Go, go, you think I'm going to spend going driving around in Rolexes and, and splitting and splitting and things? People I'm, see me I'm those spend, things. I'm like, spending oh, the rest of my life. I'm spending the rest of my life burning out religion. That is, that is key. Because I will not stop burning out religion based on how they used it to oppress so many black people. I was about to say that. Because think, in, I, in some ways, I'm, I'm, I'm not aligned with any other religion apart from Rastafari, as you know, but I've seen where in some cases a person's religion is a moral center for them and it, it, it empowers them or, or, or encourages them to do good but, things. Right? But so in those, in, in those cases, in those narrow cases, I'm not anti religion. But on the institution of religion where you can have but, a priest molesting hundreds of boys over twenty, thirty year period and nobody does anything. I just about I just it. I just the facts say I just the facts say because of religion will become so passive where people can use you and refuse you and abuse you and use us to be their workers continuously. So, and in some case, and in some cases, them start wars. This right. So based on a premise, then, based on a premise, then, all is like a burnout, religion, and and with the rest of my life, and and fight for like the voiceless, like 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 the voiceless, like children. With women, know say like like trust me, if I come across somebody, whether you're popular or not. And I come across your deeds that you molest a child, brother. Trust me, I'm gonna be your plague for the rest of your life, bro. Because I honestly think children are for limit, brother. Because yeah. they are voiceless. Women and you know, rape in itself is wrong. Like, you know, it's is it's, it's something where me despise. People violate. Oh, so have too much mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when it comes out to children, like yo, children are so vulnerable. A child, a man will manipulate a child into thinking that they're having a good, good relationship, and the child don't even know it's wrong until that child gets older. A wickedness, and brother, and evil is realize brother. that it was wrong to have a relationship. To love it was not a relationship with the uncle. I realize that all this time. He or she was being molested. Raped. Raped, yeah. And there are too many people in our society who support these people, who defend these people. And the more them defend them, the is the more, more power them give me for fight. <laughs> Understand? That? Yeah. So I, exactly. I, I decided, I already, I already say, you know what? If you're going to cast me my career, because I've already lost like my, my, my YouTube page based on speaking against certain things and speaking a certain way. My YouTube page is like at the bottom of the two attempt like like you see what I say it's like the, the, the I'm like the last tier seen on my YouTube page. So them nothing allow people to to like like I think so many people to you know like when you put do not recommend do not recommend yeah the algorithm yeah them do them them them, them right so algorithm. because there are so many do do not recommend because I was speaking against religion. Mm -hmm. And speaking against rapists, and speaking against like people like Mr. Handsome them, and mm -hmm. and they have so many followers. Mm -hmm. So when they when I, when I when somebody when I post anything on my YouTube page, which I have to stop posting stuff on my YouTube page. Mm -hmm. Whenever I post anything from my YouTube page, the Christian people them and they, when they put do not recommend, do not recommend, and and, and hate speech and other stuff. Those things mess with the, the algorithm. Pick up those things, and of course, on my pages. That's correct. It's not trending. Even, My sometimes not it's thing. not even people doing it. It's bots. They, they have these kind of technology um, tools that they can use to to um to give you negative right. ratings. Right. To, right. But to, all um, you know is when people do it, it's because when you when you when you when you type in something and it says this post was previously re reported. Right. 
Yeah, that's no, what no, I, I mean. The bots will do that too. They, they, they have, they have like, what they what call bots, B O T S. Right, um, right, right. Like right, it's right. a computer generated um code that you know right. goes in and you know. Right. So, does so, a brother, dislike of your page, your, your post, and give a negative recommendation or a. Uh, or so I appreciate you, man. Appreciate your brother. Yeah, man, blessings. And keep doing what blessings, you're doing. Blessings, Send me a blessings. link. Send me a link. Um, my brother Imotep is actually going to have a discussion this Sunday in Ethiopia. I would love for you to join the conversation if you're not busy. Um, because yeah, Ethiopia you know, is, 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 is very knowledgeable about the world. That's where I'm going next because, you know, the Prince, um, Prime Minister Abi has asked Africans uh, are, are at home and abroad to come home to Ethiopia. Um, that, 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 there's a war I, going on right now. Uh, that's a good that's, I think this is gonna be a good conversation. I needed to speak with a brother of mine. He's very knowledgeable on the world. I think he may have a different um take on the whole situation than you. So if you if you're not busy on Sunday, but shoot me a number, we can talk about it after yeah, you. Yeah, I just send it and, to you in the group right here. So anyone that is in. anyone that is tuning tune in now, join us Sunday, Sunday at about um one PM where Imotep you know, is gonna speak on the world crisis in Ethiopia. Yeah, so I just um, said something so to you. Like, yeah, I said Big up myself, in, in, the, in the chat. And I welcome. In the chat. And, and, thank, and thank you for letting me know that you're part of the mad people world. <laughs> well, that's what they say. They say I'm, I don't, I'm not convinced yeah. about it yet. So. But you are going to go Madness is a new hip thing. So, 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 so we're like a badge. Well, is I it? need more information. I, I'm a scientist. All right, brother. <laughs> Big up yourself. All right. People was a, was a nice reason, people. You know, it was, was, was a great conversation. Um, give thanks, Doc. Yeah? So, hope you learned something. Hope you gather something from um, the reasoning. Yeah? Big up on yourself. That's how we do it sometime. Yeah? Bring on the scholars them and make them really educate with. And we listen and learn from them. All right? Big up on the one love. Uh -oh.